Social distancing masks, we're all trying to stay healthy during this pandemic. And for many, that really includes taking vitamins. But now those gummies you have around the house could actually be putting your children at risk. KXAN's investigator, Arzo Dose right now with the warning from the Poison Center to all parents. Little ones are often on the hunt for a treat, but what looks like candy, tastes like it, could be something else, like vitamins. They're like, oh, this tastes good. I'm going to take another one. It's a vitamin. It can't hurt me. The Texas Poison Center Network is seeing a spike in calls about children under five years old taking too many vitamins during the pandemic, a 34% increase from last year. A lot of vitamins are okay. We worry about vitamins with iron in them because that can be uh, deadly for kids if they take too much of that. I got crocodile. Most kids' vitamins don't have iron, but prenatal and some adult vitamins do. What could too much iron do to a child? As you begin to have nausea, vomiting, you become, uh, you can develop diarrhea, and then that iron can start to directly affect the lining of the stomach or the lining of the small intestine, so you can end up with bleeding, and that would be, say, vomiting blood or having diarrhea that has blood in it. Dr. Eric Higginbotham is a pediatric ER specialist at Dell Children's Medical Center and says it could even impact the heart and brain and then cause narrowing of the esophagus or small intestine. With kids, it really depends on the size of the child and the amount of the ingestion. So the smaller kids, it could possibly be just a couple of extra pills. Somebody who's much larger, it would have to be substantially more. Dr. Hickenbotham says parents should check the ingredients and vitamins are medicine and should be kept out of reach. To get some gummies. The Poison Center says it's not enough just to put them high. In our case, the kids can easily use the stepladder to reach the vitamins. So the recommendation is using child restraint locks on doors or cabinets to keep little ones out. Parents are urged to do the same with hand sanitizer because of the high levels of alcohol. The Poison Center data shows that calls about children under five swallowing hand sanitizer have gone up 47 percent from last year. The FDA says there's now even a voluntary recall for hand sanitizer that looks like applesauce pouches. Even sending your kids to school with hand sanitizer. Um, we actually wouldn't recommend that. We would recommend you make sure the teacher gets it and not the child. Arzo Dost, KXAN Investigates. And of course, if you have questions about vitamins or sanitizer products, just call the Poison Center. A team of pharmacists, doctors, as well as nurses will answer those calls. Here's a hotline number right now that you can call 1-800-222-1222.